Can you spell your, is it Connor, C-O-N-N? O-R. O-R, McMillan. And you will talk to you a little bit yesterday on the phone to set this up. You graduate, uh, fulfill your requirements next week, yep. and you're going to do the ceremony in, in May of 2023. Yep. But uh, that's early. You normally would have just been entering your senior year, but you're actually right. finished. Why did you decide to do that before we go into the work -based or workplace learning? Was it just something you wanted to do or? Well, I, I really don't like school too awfully much, but I like to, I like to work a lot. I was initially gonna graduate in December. My dad asked me if I just wanted to go ahead and take summer classes to graduate the whole year early so I took the three summer classes getting out a year early and then we'll start at Northeast State and get my two year degree there and then go to work after that. What's your, what do you plan to get your two year degree in? Electrical technologies. Electrical technologies. So you very well may end up working for where you just got finished with. Do you consider it a, is it an internship or work-based learning or is it, is it all those? And it, yes, it's, it's kind of both. Um, I spent all day every day with the line crew um, for 10 weeks, so. What did the line crew do? Changing, changing out the power poles running new services to how to new houses and, uh, did a lot of trouble work which is when the power's out we fixed a lot of power because of the, all the storms we had this summer it's just a few of the things that the line crew would do during the summer and so that 10 weeks was basically over the summer in the summer yes um, so fixed lines that got blown down in storms, uh, replaced poles that were due replacement or that got damaged. Um, now at the same time, were you taking any other uh, online or in-person classes to finish up your first school? Were they all online? Uh, one, two of them were online and then one was in person. And that's in addition to this, okay, one online and how many in person? Two online, one in person. Two online, one in person. Um, how did you become aware that this kind of opportunity was available? Is this your first one or had you done something similar to this? I did something similar in the spring. Um, I worked for GRC Construction. Um, and I had reached out to the owner of that company, or the president, to see if he would be willing to do an internship. And then how I found out that the internship with AEP was available was there's a couple different TVs in DB that um, they roll through different things and the internship with AEP was on the thing and I saw it and I went and talked to the work-based learning coordinator. Which is? Claire Arbel. Okay. That's, I and, uh, she uh, got you set up. Were, were you the only one, or were there? Were there I was the only one. Yeah. This was a, a first-time thing for AEP doing it with the line crew. Okay. Um, so basically, instead of starting classes for senior year at Dallas Bennett, you were starting at Boise State, and. Uh, probably in two years, give or take, depending on how they offer them and if you're able to do all of them. Uh, are you going to have any jobs while you're working at, I mean, have any jobs while you're attending school at Northeast? Or do you I mow yards, uh, so I mow about 11 or 12 yards right now. I'll probably keep doing that. And when you get your degree, your associate's degree in uh, electrical, Technologies. Technologies? Yeah. What do you plan? Would you like to go to work for AEP? Yeah, I would. Um, I'll start applying for jobs as soon as I can. Uh, and if I was to get a job before I finish my degree, I'd just finish my degree out, you know, a class every yes. semester, a night class or something. 
Yeah, well, I have some online too, but what you're in online, it's sort of hard to learn some of the hands-on stuff. Uh, not impossible, but right. a lot of it has to have an in-person component. component. Um, are you from uh, Kingsport originally? Yeah. And when you started at DB as a freshman year, did you have any idea that you might end up graduating early and uh, mm -hmm. uh, I figured, stuff like this? I figured I'd play baseball all four years, but I ended up liking working better than I liked playing baseball. So, hmm. but you did play baseball for the for a while anyway. Yes. So, you work with linemen. Would you like? Is that something you'd love? So, like it is. To, uh, have they given you any good hope or any hope or some hope that that is possible? Possibly. Any kind of message or advice you might give someone uh, who is maybe an incoming freshman or a sophomore who's sort of in the same uh, situation you are? Try every job opportunity you have out. You might like the idea of doing something one minute. You go try it out one day and not like it, then you're, you know, you got to figure out something else. So jump on every opportunity that you can. And did you, um, so you, I'm sure you enjoyed or, you know, did fine at, at uh, GRC construction, but did you, not that that's a bad thing, you just are, found you had more of an interest in uh, electrical or electricity. That, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't like to do something else better. And what did you do there? Uh, I was a, pretty much a carpenter helper. So I left school um, after my second block and went to work there every, every day. So I just did stuff like framing walls and stuff. And then I ran a skid steer a lot. So you have some experience in that, you, even if that's not the direction you go, you have. Do you plan on staying around the Kingsport area when you uh, get out of Northeast, or are you going to head for California? Or no, <laughs> I won't head for California, but um, there might be a couple opportunities elsewhere within AEP that I might look at taking.